Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight in to talk about gems. So this is going to be a complete guide talking about all the gems possible and really usable in New World. So to start off, actually, we'll take a look at my inventory. So right now, I am running a Fire Staff with 20% damage against targets with full health. In the open world, this is very, very nice because I'm able to get a very large burst on my first, obviously, attack with that Fire Staff. And then we have the Rapier. I am running an Empowered. 30% of damage is converted to Arcane. Damage scales off base weapon stat or intelligence. I do this because I have intelligence as my highest attribute. At 256 intelligence, I am able to scale my rapier with that intelligence. So we're going to talk about today what gems there are in New World and what gems you should be looking to grab in New World. So to start off, we're going to go to resources. We go to refined resources and we have cut gemstones. So obviously gems uh, don't come cut, so you will need somebody to cut them or you can just buy them off of the trading post. So the tier two gems are very, very cheap, you know, five to 10 gold usually. Uh, so we'll start with the cut flawed amber. So if you actually take a look here, we have 20% of damage is converted to nature. Damage scales off base weapon stat or FOC, whichever is higher. So this is definitely a, uh, a unique gem here. You can definitely use this converted to nature. Obviously, nature is you know specifically good against certain things. We have that with you know a couple different things. So um, you know my arcane amulet, or I guess arcane gem, for example, is good against the corrupted, and it's also you know, fairly, fairly solid against, uh, you know, really anything to do with corrupted. So not just corrupted portals, but if I go into those white zones, I'm doing a lot of extra damage because of my arcane gem. But here, like I said, you have nature damage, 20% is being converted and damage skills off, like I said, base weapon stat or FOC. So we jump on back. We can also see cut flawed amethyst. So this is 20% of damage is converted to void damage skills off base weapon stat or intelligence, whichever is higher. So this is another option I could have used instead of my current option on my um, on my rapier and we're going to talk about that here in a second as well so we also go to the aquamarine this is a gem that 20 percent of damage is converted to ice damage skills off base weapon stat or intelligence yet again but another you know kind of different scenario here where we're getting ice instead of void um, and then we continue down we also see the carnelian this is definitely a very very big one for pve dungeons a very important one and this is why you can actually see that the prices for tier two is 55 gold a piece so taunts are active you generate 100 percent more threat and uh or i mean you have to realize as well guys there is other options so or you generate four percent less threat so you can actually pick which one basically um and you're going to get one of the following effects so do keep that in mind. This is definitely a huge PvE gem used for dungeons so that tanks can continue to grab threat uh, when they want to. Uh, let's jump back, though, and take a look at the diamond. So diamonds, plus 6% damage and outgoing healing while at full health. So if you're at full health constantly, you're going to be able to do a lot of extra damage and also a lot more healing. So this is great for maybe, uh, you know, doing PvE dungeons yet again if you can make sure to stay out of the fight and do multiple, uh, you know, loads of damage in the background and this is also decent for war if you can stay out of the fight and do massive damage if this does scale i'm not sure i haven't tested it myself but if this does scale with turrets in war this could be very very good as well if you have somebody protecting your turret and you're in the turret doing a massive amounts of massive 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 I can't say massive, massive amounts of damage, then obviously the diamond could be good for something like that. But you can just kind of theory craft in your own mind how good some of these gems could really be and what different scenarios you should use which one. So we also have the emerald. Uh, the emerald is the 8% damage against targets with less than 30% health. This is a fairly good one as well because you're going to be doing massive amounts of damage when they are below 30% health, giving you the really capabilities of um, really getting that last execute damage in there so you can actually take that kill uh, you also see that there is an ore here as well so two percent thrust damage absorption so this is if you put it in a uh, you know an armor you're going to get that two percent thrust damage absorption and one thing to note is with the rapier we can see that i have thrust damage as my primary you can actually see it right here 84 thrust damage 36 arcane damage so i'm doing 84 mo majority of my damage is coming from thrust so if you have that absorption you're going to absorb a lot of actual damage there let's jump back into the refined resources go to the cut gemstones and continue on now we are on i believe jasper so with jasper plus six percent after receiving three hits this could continue to be very very big obviously as you get you know a tier four tier five because after receiving three hits um you know on tanks you're going to be receiving multiple three hit combos very very often and you're going to be able to lay down a lot of damage if you want to maybe go sword and shield take those hits and then 
you know, lay some massive damage down, you definitely could. Uh, there's a couple different reasons why you could go this, but we're going to continue on now with uh, Malachite. So Malachite, we have plus six damage against targets with active crowd control status, effect, slow, stun, or root. So this could be very, very good yet again in war because there is a lot of slows, a lot of stuns and roots in war. Um, you could easily throw this into maybe your fire staff and you could go an ice gauntlet in war. And let's say you throw a slow out there or you don't have any kind of slow, and then you switch to your fire staff and just rain down hell on them with uh, some diff different abilities there. So definitely a great option as well as we jump on over to... Uh, you know, our next gemstone, we have the Moonstone. So the Moonstone is kind of unique as well. So plus 12% damage when a player is below 30% health. Um, we've talked about this. So if I am below 30% health, I will do 12% damage. Very good for Hatchet. Obviously, Hatchet is one of those that uh, you can actually stay alive. You have Undying Perk, and you actually stay alive at zero health for quite some time. So you can definitely use that to your advantage with the Moonstone. We actually continue on now to the Onyx. Onyx is one of those that I am currently using, and it gives you a percent damage against targets with full health. That's what I'm using in my Fire Staff because I want to do a massive amount of damage on my first burst ability. That's going to help me throughout that fight, and that's why I have, like I said, a cut onyx in my fire staff so moving on to the next one we also have uh a couple more we have opal here opal is going to be six percent damage while your stamina is not full so six percent damage while your stamina is not full is going to be very very solid because your st stamina is pretty much never full uh you know not very often do light uh, at least light users have full stamina. They're usually rolling around trying to make plays, and they're usually going to have low stamina. So Opal is a good option there. We have Cut Ruby as well. So Cut Ruby, 20% of damage is converted to fire. Damage scales off base, weapon, stat, or intelligence, whichever is higher. So one thing with this is I wouldn't be using this because that's just going to provide more fire uh, you know, more fire damage on my already fire staff. And really, I don't want that because uh, you know a lot of people are probably going to be you know going fire-resistant boots and fire resistant uh you know gems in their uh their armor because they would don't want to get one shot by meteor shower or you know pillar of fire pillar of flames out in those wars so i think a lot of people are not going to be really using this cut flawed ruby if you're a fire staff but uh, let's move on we continue down a little bit farther and we can see actually i wanted to kind of go over one thing so plus two percent fire damage absorption i will say that's the reason this price by the way is at 13 gold at the very lowest instead of five because a lot of people are trying to take advantage of this because they see how strong fire staff is right now and they're trying to take some of that absorption so moving on like i said to the next one we have cut flawed sapphire so cut flawed sapphire is a very unique one as well 20 percent of damage is converted to arcane damage scales off base weapon stat or intelligence whichever is higher and this is the one that i am using in my current fire staff because or sorry rapier because i like the idea of doing extra damage to the corrupted as it's very very nice to go out into the white zones above and then also other areas where you can actually take that damage uh let's go on to the next gem uh Cut Flawed Topaz. So here we have 20% of damage is converted to lightning. Damage scales off base weapon stat or intelligence, whichever is higher. And obviously that 2% lightning damage absorption is available as well on the armor. Jumping on to the next one, we see uh, that we are done actually. That is going to be the last one. I was kind of excited to continue to go because some of these gems are big game changers in fights. So next we have Cut Amber. We talked about Cut Amber already, but that's a tier three. But the big thing to note is guys, with tier two to tier five, there is a large, large difference. So let's just talk about really the, let's go with with, um, let's go with one that gives you like a kind of a higher percentage here. So Onyx is a pretty decent one to look at. 15% damage against targets with full health. That's a lot of extra damage. However, if we go to tier 5 Onyx, what do you think it's going to be at? Well, it's going to be at quite a bit. We're going to see 30% damage against targets with full health. So that's going to be double that tier 2, and it's going to definitely help you out and, uh, you know, getting that very big burst out right in the beginning. Obviously, Tier 5 is something that a lot of people cannot afford right now. If we actually go to Tier 5, there's going to be, I don't believe, any on the market yet. Nobody can craft it yet. So there's really none on the market unless you got it as a drop. Um, because, you know, Tier 5, you have to have uh, Tier 5 stone cutting for, or I guess, you know, very, very high stone cutting to actually, you know, craft or, you know, cut tier five gems. So it's going to cost a lot there. Um, you know, one thing I'll note as well is what I'm wearing in my, uh, in my, I'm trying to think here, my armor. So I'm actually going to be wearing that 2.5% slash damage absorption. And that's going to help a lot with, uh, you know, going against up great axes because great axes do that exact damage type. And that's exactly what I want to stay away from because I believe great axes right now are in a very, very strong place. And that's my biggest, uh, you know, biggest fear out in the open world is a great axe. Most likely if they can get onto me, they're going to do a lot, a lot of damage. If I mess up in any way, shape or form, they're going to make sure to capitalize. So that's why I'm running this moonstone in all of my all of my actual armor i'm running moonstone for that 
like I said, slash damage absorption. So that's just a quick tip or, you know, quick understanding of what really goes into my thought process when I'm trying to go through what gem I want to grab. Uh, I think of what's the strongest build out there. What am I dying to most? What What's the build that could hurt me the most? So that's why I went with the slash, uh, slash damage absorption. If you're dying to maybe fire staff at the most or even a bow or something like that, make sure to check their damage types and then get that absorption into your socketed armor. So we also see the crafting material for those crafters down below flawed moonstone and obviously death moat for uh, the moonstone specifically and you can do that throughout the store if you go through and click on something you can see the crafting material required at the very bottom left so i just want to give you guys kind of my understanding on gems a complete really gem guide altogether. we went over every gem we went over the differences the positives and how much you can actually get of an increase from a tier 2 gem to a tier 5 gem so if you guys have any questions comments concerns let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have not already make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video as we are going to give you guys so much content as we get closer and closer to release new world is going to be such a fun game for this community and i think you know if we stick together it will continue to be such a fun thing to talk about so thank you guys again i'll see you guys in the next one